Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. This video covers an issue with the FS400 fiber optic field inspection microscope that may prevent the scope from focusing properly on fiber end faces. The vast majority of OWL's products are manufactured by OWL, with the exception being accessory type items such as cleaners and fiber optic inspection scopes like the FS400 field scope. In fact, you probably have noticed that most fiber optic test equipment manufacturers and suppliers offer the same fiber microscope as well, but with a different label because these types of scopes usually come from the same offshore manufacturer. Unfortunately, this results in very little control over the manufacturing quality process. We do our best to inspect these scopes before they are shipped so that they approach the level of quality and functionality that our customers have come to expect from OWL's main product lines. Okay, first we'll cover a little bit about the uh, field scope itself. Uh, first we see we have a viewfinder. This is where you inspect the end faces. We have a power button that turns on the uh, illuminator that, so that the, you can see the end face. We have the focus wheel which turn, uh, turns the uh, one way or the other to move the internal focusing assembly to make sure that you can focus on the end face itself. Uh, there's a little warning label. Uh, then there's also a universal cap system that can handle two different types of uh, connector ferrule sizes, two and a half millimeter and one and a quarter millimeter. Now, as the focus wheel reaches one end or the other of the focus range, the wheel gets harder to turn. This is the user's clue to stop turning the focus wheel in that direction. If you notice, there's this warning label affixed near the focus wheel to remind users about the consequences of overturning the focus wheel. So if to turn beyond its limit, two things could happen to the focus gear. It could either become damaged beyond repair if it's forced too much past the gear's limit such damage is not covered under warranty. Or the focus wheel has simply become disengaged. So to re-engage the focus wheel, first we remove the universal connector cap to reveal the tip of the lens assembly. Okay, and we can see here that the cap is, or the uh, focus assembly is uh, retracted a little bit. So the lens assembly will either be retracted or protruded, uh, depending on, on which direction the focus wheel was turned at the time. Now, we turn the focus wheel in both directions and, and until we can see the internal lens assembly move. Okay, notice that if you can see that here, that the focus assembly is moving a little bit. Uh, now, if it never moves, despite turning fully in both directions, uh, the gear is probably damaged. However, if the lens, lens assembly does move, like, it, like this one is, then just turn the focus wheel until the end of the lens assembly becomes flush with the housing. And I'll do that here. And here, what we'll do is get to go look at it flush. Okay, we can see that it's protruding a little bit, so what we do is we just get it so it's flush, and then simply replace the universal connector cap. It, the scope should now be close to the focus position. Inspect the fiber end to ensure the proper focusing operation. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.